Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forza Long Guide called Prepare, Commit, Belong which wants you to own and drive the 2013 McLaren P1 to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So this is a 2013 McLaren P1 and it will set you back 1.35 million credits from the auto show so it's proven to be a very expensive Forzathon if you do not own the car. Uh, you can always try and pick it up cheaper in the auction house as well. Now I've created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon. The share code is on your screen there, 103814403. Hopefully it should help you out a little bit, but you actually really don't need a tune to complete the challenges with. Now the first one here, nice and easy, wants you to earn three stars at the Autopista Speed Trap. Now this is the speed trap located on the highway, and three stars on here is 240 mile an hour target. Now I recommend starting at this junction I've just shown you there. You don't necessarily need a huge run up, this is a really quick car. It definitely helps to have it tuned because it makes it a bit quicker, I mean you don't need a longer run up. Super easy challenge to complete though. Now the next one wants you to win a road circuit race, so of course we're going to head over to the Arch of Mulehay circuit. Now here I have a race set up for you guys to use, the share code is on your screen there. It's called Forzathon Easy and it's one lap with no AI driver tasks, so you're of course guaranteed a win and it will literally take you a minute to complete if you try and do it as quickly as possible. So really a very very quick and very very easy challenge. Now the final one here, again nice and easy, wants you to earn 6 stars at speed zones. So for all of you who know, I always opt for the festival speed zone. 3 stars on here is 110 mile an hour, which is super easy to achieve with this car. It doesn't actually matter again if you have a tune or not. Now funnily enough, you can't ride the wall on this, although it doesn't actually matter as you can see here. Super easy to get 3 stars anyway. Um, but I'll show you at the end of the video, I think they've sort of debugged it so you can't wrap around the wall you actually go through it now which i mean fair enough if if that's sort of how people were doing it beforehand they've sort of picked up on that but anyway this final challenge really really easy to complete and get three stars on as you saw there it doesn't take that long to complete all in all this falls on probably only takes less than five minutes so nice and easy one there but if you are struggling with any of the challenges then please do let me know down below in the comments of course i'll be more than happy to help you guys out um if you are new to the channel and this video did help you out i'd very much appreciate it if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out and here you can see the wall that is currently glitched i don't know if it's because this speed track or speed zone is part of one of the weekly challenges but there you go something odd maybe they've done it good who knows but anyway like i said i hope you enjoyed um if you did don't forget to drop a like and subscribe but apart from that folks i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you stay safe and take care